My name is Mark Mincola and I am a natural doctor. When people first come into my office, I think it's really important to really focus on exactly what their goals are. Why are they there? My sister recently um, was diagnosed with breast cancer. I had to go get tested and I found that I was positive for a genetic uh, gene mutation, which is called the BRCA gene. So the chances of me getting breast cancer over the course of my lifetime is somewhere between like 80-85%. Um, and ovarian cancer is high as well. I have something called uterine fibroid and I'm trying to avoid surgery at all costs. And I sought someone out who could help me do it in a more natural way. So diagnostically, I'm first a listener. It's really important for me to understand their history, their health, the dynamics and the energy of that person, the emotions, the thoughts, the lifestyle, the family. Sometimes they think they're just coming to see me for physical reasons, when in fact I may find that there's an awful lot going on there emotionally that they're not familiar with. I think the manifestation of this, it came from not feeling my emotions. I'm just pushing them down, and right. it came out in this. Secondly, I'll do some muscle testing. I have very specific, unique muscle testing devices that really help me detail exactly what those health patterns are and where they're rooted. Muscle testing is actually very, very simple. When you think about virtually anything, it's either going to affect you mentally in a positive or a negative way. Let's think about something like wheat. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's ask about dairy. Mm -hmm. Let's ask about egg yolks. How about egg whites? Can I eat how, anything? <laughs> how about broccoli? <laughs> It looks like you're stuck with broccoli. <laughs> Your muscles are always talking and they're always expressing whether or not you feel strong or weak. There's a great deal to be learned from that. I don't see my role as a doctor. I see my role as a teacher. What I'm gonna be able to do for Amy and anybody else that I work with on this series is really enlighten them about the three-dimensional self that they are. I'm gonna show them how their foods, how their thoughts, how their supplements, their vitamins, their minerals, their various forms of exercise can be contoured in a bio-individualistic fashion. Food is medicine. America must know that. My mission in using television as a medium for my work is to really reach more people and to share my story with people. And over the past 26 years, I've seen 60,000 patients. Many of them are terminally ill. Many of them were really, really desperate with confusing uh, problems that no one could solve. When I started doing the work that I do, I never dreamt that we would be able to problem solve the degree we have. And we've helped people in ways that are just absolutely unimaginable. So I think it's extremely important that we open people's minds, that we bring people hope, that we empower them, that we educate them, we share with them the possibilities that presently remain, unfortunately, unavailable to them. And before I leave this world, I just want to make sure I reach as many people as possible.